Hey guys, I'm going through a really hard time right now, arguing with certain family members about a video that I posted. Something that was supposed to be a beautiful memory of my grandmother and the family, having all of us under one roof and things of that, things of that nature. But you know what, sometimes you really just have to separate from your family. Sometimes you really just have to separate from your family and you gotta keep going no matter what. Like oh my god i'm not even gonna ugh. i'm just so irritated that something so beautiful could be turned into something so bad like this shit is so crazy to me shit is so crazy to me i've got i've got talked about you know basically shamed i should say about me recording eating at the repast me recording family and things of that nature like the shit is so crazy like i've done nothing wrong but try to share beautiful memories and everything like it was supposed to be a remembrance okay i could see if i got my grandmother in her f***ing i could see if i got her in her casket on camera i could see if i recorded the whole entire funeral i could see if i recorded people crying i could see if i did that no i recorded a happy time where our family was loving on each other where our family was you feel me now my uncle's now my uncle is checking on Hey girl, hey. We are about to go to the gym, honey. We got this gym pony. Uh, so, yes, y'all. The clip earlier today, I was very emotional because it's how, I don't know what it is. It's always somebody trying to paint a bad picture of me. Like, I really don't be understanding what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's just that those people just simply don't need to be in my life honestly so i'm on a snip snip mission okay um don't give anybody your time don't give anybody your energy like on some serious shit. If you know you've been at peace if you know you're genuine within yourself if you know that you're not doing anything got an intent to hurt anybody else don't allow anybody else to take your joy from you because i'm a, i'm gonna let y'all what happened we gonna we gonna chop it up but as for right now i'm about to go to the gym y'all i've been losing weight oh my god oh my god 255 i was 255 pounds and now i'm 231 pounds or 32 i think no it was shifting the scale was shifting it's either 231 or 232 y'all i'm trying to get to my goal of 160 um and not even just 160 because y'all uh like if you really see me in person i really don't look 200 and something pounds but and that's just my opinion okay so some people um may be different but um yes y'all i am really thinking about a lot of things in my life i want to move out of chicago i want to further my youtube career i want to further my career in general that's why i'm in school right now for cybersecurity. um so it was just a whole bunch of like negative things said about me um like one i'm a attention seeker um two like um just call somebody you seeking security from people and this is something that i love to do like i love youtube like i'm a youtuber now y'all know that so it's, it's not like i'm faking I got over 80 videos of, <laughs> of hard work, like, you know, me editing and shit like that. So, yeah, y'all, I just, you know, blocking out all negativity. I know I got a lot of blessings coming. I know I got a lot of stuff lined up for myself that I just see myself, you know, see myself as, see myself doing. Um, yeah, and your girl want to be a YouTuber. I'm going, okay, so this is basically what I'm doing. I am working full-time i'm working a full-time job at northwestern medicine two i do youtube three i am in school i take two classes two classes i'm starting off with one then i'll be doing two then i'll be one so i could be done with my associate's degree in cyber security and like freaking 1.5 years i'm gonna try
Hey guys, we are in Whole Foods right now and we are just getting some dinner. I think I'm gonna get some asparagus. Um, I'm gonna get asparagus. I think I'm gonna get two bunches of asparagus. And I'm gonna get asparagus and broccoli because Jerry loves broccoli. And I love asparagus, but he also loves asparagus. So, yeah, we're gonna get asparagus. I think I'm gonna get two. Um, $3.99 per pound. So I think we're gonna get two of these. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna turn you around. Yes, guys, this green asparagus was $3.99, but somehow when I got to the register, two of them equaled up to like $11. And we definitely weren't gonna do that. So, yeah, we just have our fruit section and Whole Foods. We're just breezing through here, giving you guys a little quick run through of the store. Um, yes, I thought about getting some dragon fruits, but they didn't look the best to me. So, yes. We are in Whole Foods and apparently <laughs> I'm attention seeking. So let me put my camera down. <laughs> the shade, but y'all know I don't give a fuck. People will get cut out of my life. A good selection here, it's not bad at all. I like all the different meats and stuff, but I've been trying to stay away from that meat because it causes inflammation. You guys know what I tell you, chicken. Also causes inflammation. Guys, I'm trying to do fish. This is salmon and trout bringing it together. So we have the salmon right here. Oh my god. Gotta love Coco. Yes, you guys, I am going to start making dinner. I'm going to start off with some vinegar and baking soda with my asparagus. And I'm just going to get that to be clean. I have some mushrooms. I'm going to just chop those up real nice and good. You got some onion. Your girl is just gone. Cook it up. So, yes, we're just chopping our onions here. And I got me a little bowl with the mushrooms. And guys, this fish is salmon and trout mixed together. I'm putting a little salt, black, and pepper, pepper, pepper on there, baby. Yes. Oh my God. I love a good salt and pepper. I didn't want to do too much because, you know, I was going to make a sauce for the salmon, trout, whatever. So we got some garlic powder onion powder you know i had some tomatoes because i love you know salting vegetables and then i put some puerto rican sasson um i'm just chopping up a little fresh garlic here because i love cooking with it i love cooking with fresh onions garlic um you know all type of stuff so i'm just storing it here and um yes y'all I got me a little oil, don't judge me. Oil and vinegar, I know it don't mix, but I was cooking it on the pan, so I thought that, you know, it could be in the sauce, shit. Um, we got some everything bagel seasoning, honey. I put a little hot sauce in that, John. Um, I put a little vinegar, you guys already know. I got cumin, um, you know, basically the same stuff I seasoned the salmon with, and honey, garlic, oh, and lemon. So I basically got some guys oh this came out so delicious oh my god that is fresh basil a squeeze of lemon up in that joint a eh? so we just sauteing it i'm putting some more salt and pepper you know just making everything more fragrant making it more live so i put my homemade honey garlic salmon sauce up in there uh i'm gonna show y'all how to really make the sauce i don't know why the hell i put that damn uh uh, vinegar and oil together but I thought it could make a 
nice little, you know, oil. So I won't be using too much. I could just use it in the sauce. Um, yes, y'all. I'm just basting this salmon, trout, whatever. Putting my vegetables up in there. Getting that real good. Oop. And then we got some asparagus. We're going to start this asparagus up, baby. And then just saute it, y'all. I hope you guys love this recipe. And yes, squirrel, yes. Yes, it came out so good. This is dinner, guys. And we have some wine. We're just going to enjoy each other. Say hello. He's always spoiled. Okay, guys, so... See you. Thank you for watching this video.